from the folks in Riyadh and Accra. Chance to talk with him uh, in Riyadh with the king, with the crown prince, with the foreign minister, uh, all of the United States uh, counterparts there. We made clear to them that we take this matter with respect to Mr. Khashoggi very seriously. Uh, they made clear to me that they too understand the serious nature of the disappearance of Mr. Khashoggi. Uh, they also assured me that they will conduct a complete, thorough uh, investigation of all of the facts surrounding Mr. Khashoggi and that they will do so in a timely fashion. And that this report itself will be transparent for everyone to see, to ask questions about, and to inquire with respect to its thoroughness. And I told President Trump this morning that um, we ought to give them a few more days to complete that so that we too have a complete understanding of the facts surrounding that, at which point we can make decisions about how or if the United States should respond uh, to uh, the incident surrounding Mr. Khashoggi. Um, I think it's important for us all to remember, too, uh, we have a long, since 1932, a, a long strategic relationship with the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. They continue to be an important counterterrorism partner. Uh, they have custody of the two holy sites. Uh, they are an important strategic alliance of the United States, and we need to be mindful of that as well. When I traveled and met with President Erdogan, uh, he talked to me about the incident. He told me that they were conducting their own investigation. Uh, we had a chance to meet with some of the team involved with that. Uh, he assured me that they would share their results with uh, the Saudis as well. Um, so we do believe that between these two efforts, a complete picture will emerge for what actually transpired here. And, uh, and we're working towards that. We're looking forward to that wrapping up quickly. And we expect that it will be done in that way.